yellow, yellow rubber duckies. The typical kind of rubber duckies that everybody knows about. I'm winter, I'm back in... Wow, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> that's not a swimming pool, I'll let you know. I'm back in my ultra flat core challenge. Hello, what do you sell? What do you sell? It was weird. It doesn't sell anything. It doesn't want to know anything about selling. Which way is west? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check quickly which way is west so I know which way I should be digging. Okay, that way there. Don't turn around, it's that way. That's good. Oh, towards the door. That's, I suppose, uh, uh, useful. Oh. Weird things are happening here today. Mm, you sell an eye vendor, that's interesting, but it's completely useless here. So, don't open that door now because I'm kind of. Can you please move away? Thank you, I don't want you to open that door while I'm trying to... Why can't I place a block here? Um... <laughs> aliens! I'm back here and guess what? I'm going to run some more! Because, yes, that's probably the best thing to do, according to you, according to myself even. Sometimes I even listen to myself, you sell arrows, that's pretty cool. Because, well, the one thing that worries me the most is definitely... Oh, I don't have enough. It's definitely... Oh, oh, gush, 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 oh, gush. <laughs> it's definitely gold. That is one thing that once I settle down, I will not be able to get. Um, of course, I could try farming uh, zombie pigments, but it really sounds like a, a boring and tedious task, uh, especially considering that they drop uh, just gold nuggets. So it's going to take a while to be able to make myself a golden apple. Hello, <laughs> I'm back here. I'm running west again, looking for more gold and possibly, I don't know, I guess a couple more diamonds would make me happy. I just hope I don't immediately use up <laughs> the gold I'm going to find. So <laughs> I'll do my best not to take fall, uh, fall damage, well, any kind of damage really. I'm looking at you, slime, so I'm looking at you. Thank you, I'm, I'm, thank you, thank you, thank you, is that the village? No, thank you for answering to my previous video. I really appreciate it. I really do. I'm very happy to know that somebody <laughs> was interested in the whole lucid dreaming thingy. But before that, before that, we need to discuss more important matters. What are those matters? I'll tell you. If you follow the flat course subreddit, you may have noticed this already, even if you just uh, hang around the Minecraft subreddit, you might have noticed this. But, but, Dinnerbone worked its magic again. <laughs> yes, because what happened in the latest snapshot, he added oh, so many things to the uh, super flat world's settings. So now, my shafts, strong golds, and lots of other things among among which he listen to this trees will spawn in super flat worlds. Of course everything is customiz customizable, customizable Ooh Wow And I all all almost wanted to to just give up on all these diamonds. Let's see if I can't make some space and grab some more stuff. Why not? Why not, I say? Oh, I should not forget that I want uh, the black wool from all these lampposts here. And maybe take a look at our villagers' offers if it's not risky. I say as a slime decides to come after me. Wheat, wheat, wheat. And yes, uh, this means that... Ooh, there's another smithy here. I, I completely missed... I almost completely missed it. I mean, only... I don't find six diamonds all in the same two minutes, not even normal worlds, while I'm in while I'm branch mining. That was awesome. Wow, I'm happy. 
I have no clue what I will do with those. <laughs> I'm dying happy. That's pretty cool. Now I need to figure out how to get that from here. Um, I'm not forgetting anything, so let's, I don't know, dig. Okay. It's safe, mostly, hopefully. Good. Hi, what do you sell? Oh, I don't have enough wheat for you. Sorry. That's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what will happen once all these changes are implemented in an official release in 1.4 because well that's going to be awesome. I, I'm also going to be slightly sad because uh, uh, I started this series before <laughs> all of these changes <laughs> were even mentioned I guess and uh, that, that's kind of well, I'm not saying this is going to be outdated. Well, I mean, it is. But <laughs> it's still, you know, the classical flat core challenge plus one mod. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Um, well, well, whatever. I'm not going to leave this. Even if I do uh, upgrade, uh, update, not upgrade, to 1.4, I don't think I will see any of the new features in this particular world. Probably because my save file... Uh, even if I load into new chunks, I don't think any the new changes will take place because in this specific save file, uh, none of the new things uh, have been enabled in the first place. So I doubt we will see grass. Uh, uh, I don't know. We will see. In any case, I'm not changing my uh, my plans here. I'm still going to try and build a giant pool table, see what I can do, possibly get some gold, hmm, hmm, villages, no villages, that makes me sad. Ah, so my main problem with uh, wanting to talk about uh, Lucid Dreams was the fact that uh, it doesn't really relate to Minecraft a lot, so I'm tr I, I guess I will try to do some kind of, like, middle ground, and... Uh, spend only half of my episodes actually talking about it and the other half try to <laughs> talk about something Minecraft related for the change. See what I did here when I started talking about Dinner Bona? <laughs> uh, I'm a genius. My evil plan is working out just fine. And and I'm losing my... I'm losing West. Uh -uh. Well, there we go. Let's start talking about lucid dreams. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to assume that you guys are actually going to carry out the instructions I'm giving you. Will you? <laughs> As I mentioned, it really will not take you lots of time and efforts, probably five, ten minutes at most every day. You can't you, you can, you can afford to just like five minutes of your time, dedicate them to what I see. Doesn't matter. But before that, uh, let me tell you my world, my experience, every everything I'm going to say here about lucid dreams comes from what I studied and what I personally experienced. Uh, I am no expert, no science, n science? I'm no science. <laughs> I'm a scientist, I'm not uh, uh, any, I did not make any kind of scientific research into lucid dreams. What I'm going to tell you is what I do know. It may be incorrect. I'm not claiming I know all the answers to all of your questions and I'm not claiming that all my answers will be absolutely correct. So, uh, <laughs> disclaimer. Read and follow the important instructions carefully before consuming because such a factor is feeling ill. This sentence is a very understandable. Please read and read the disturbing conditions. I am a proper monkey. Good. Now, first thing, before we even approach the uh, the idea of having lucid dreams, there's the problem of having dreams at all. Um, I don't even remember if I mentioned this. Good job, Winter. <laughs> you don't even know what you talked about two days ago. Here's the village, finally. Uh, not everybody remembers all the dreams uh, uh, we have uh, during one night. We dream many times during the night. Uh, depending on how long you sleep, uh, the average is, is uh, three, four uh, dreams every night. So if you only remember one or you don't remember dreaming at all, that's bad because let's assume that you actually do manage to have a lucid dream. You wake up in the morning 
and you will not even remember having a lucid dream, having a dream at all. And that's absolutely pointless. So what we need to work on first uh, is your, uh, your dream recollection, your dream memory, the, your ability to recall dreams that you had during the night. Being able to recall two, three dreams every night is a very good average and it will allow you to not uh, forget uh, those dreams you're going to eventually have. And good night! And good morning! Hello! I'm back! There we go. Now, how do you train yourself to remember the things you dream about during the night? Uh, well, it's a kind of memory we're talking about here. It's memory. <laughs> it's you being able to recall things. So, just kind of memory. Uh, dreams are very, like, feeble, very easy to forget. Uh, only the dreams that leave you actually a very strong impression are uh, you're going to remember them without uh, uh, without any effort at all, which is why uh, y people usually remember the most, uh, the strangest dreams because they left a strong impression on them, nightmares because you wake up in the middle of them when your memory is uh, fresher, fresher. Uh, <laughs> this is starting to become a grocery, uh, a grocery, a grocery shop. Uh, or the most awesome dreams that you happened and again they, they are the ones that leave you with a very strong impression so you're going to remember them more easily. Uh, how do we go about remembering dreams more easily? Well, the same way you go about remembering your everyday life things more easily and that is step one, keep a dream journal. No matter who you ask, the first thing they're going to tell you if you are, uh, decide that you're interested in lucid dreaming, the first thing they're going to tell you, everybody, oh, village to my right, is you need, you need to keep a dream journal. There's no way around it. A dream journal is exactly what uh, it says on the tin. It, <laughs> it is... A journal that you keep in which you will keep track of all the dreams you can remember. Now this is why I said I talked at the beginning about dedicating 10 5 minutes to lucid dreaming. Where did you come from? Zombie house. Wow, that's a lot of them actually. This is because every morning from this moment onward, if you're interested in having lucid dreams, you uh, will try to keep your very own dream journal. Whenever you wake up, even if it's in the middle of the night, if you, oh goodness, that was, wow, that was a, a very, <laughs> a very shady skeleton, ninja skeleton right there. I need to approach that uh, smithy from the other way. Mm-hmm. I need to be stealthy, like that skeleton in the shadows. In the shadows, I say hi. You stay there. Aha! My cunning once again! Ooh! That's... <laughs> it's a very beautiful feeling to be rewarded for my efforts, you know? Wow! Didn't I have, like, a, at the beginning of this episode, only three diamonds? That's... That's incredible! There's another skeleton there! There's more skeletons there! Okay, this village is really scary. It's scary. Scary stuff. Winter is killed. Hi. Let's try to run away this way. Uh, no arrows coming my way. No arrows coming my way. Is west this way? Where's west? West? Oh, uh, it's actually that way. I'm going the wrong way. I am. Crap. That way. Mm, okay. Oh, village. Did I miss that? Did, did I miss that? I'm confused. Then I come from that way. Maybe I missed it. Whatever. I'm going to check that out, even if I'm in there already. I hope not. Ah, uh, yes, a dream journal. Try to wake up. If you don't have five minutes uh, in the morning when you uh, normally wake up, try to wake up just five minutes earlier than that. Just, just five, just two. Ah, uh, dreams are much easier to recall. Ah. Uh, the moment you wake up, the longer you wait, 
and the harder it will be. Is there a zombie there? Oh god, what? Okay, these places are really scary. Look at them! <laughs> oh goodness, you scare me, Mr. Justificate. Grab some wheat. Oh, you don't, you don't buy my wheat. Boring. Dreams are much easier to remember the moment you wake up and they become harder and harder to remember the longer you wait. So you must not waste any time. The moment you wake up, boom, I immediately have your dream journal right beside you, like just right under your pillow. <laughs> Keep it beside your bed. And first thing you do when you wake up is write down everything you can remember about anything you dreamt about. You don't really need to get into details. Uh, usually writing keywords is enough. You can write just five, ten keywords and you're going to be able to remember most of your dream just fine. As I said, it doesn't require effort. Uh, e it's extremely easy to remember the dreams you just had one, the moment you wake up. When you, don't, you don't even need to get down from the bed. Uh, let me add another thing to your general knowledge of lucid dreams. Lucid dreams are, well, a thing that your mind has, that your mind does. Dreams are something your mind makes up. So the whole journey towards achieving lucidity uh, is a process that requires more, say, mental effort than physical effort. It's not something that requires lots of practical things to be done, but it does require many of the tricks I'm going to mention. Uh, kind of, let's call it mental exercise, it's something that you do with your brain more instead of your muscles. <laughs> uh, this means because of, well, I, I'm not entering into a ps or a difficult psychological debate here, but uh, the one thing that uh, it's pretty obvious is that it's going to be different for everybody. Everyone is going to manage it to uh, get the results more easily in one way instead of another way. So uh, the best way to get to uh, to get lucid dreams is to have knowledge of many trips, trips, tips and tricks, not trips, <laughs> as many as you can, and then experiment with them all and figure out what works best for you. This is why I said that uh, lucid dreams, <laughs> the way to achieve lucid dreams, cannot be. Uh, summarized in five minutes because the best way to get lucid dreams is really to try everything you can possibly hear and and do and try and stuff and figure out what, what works best for you getting back to the dream journal thingy talking about what works best for you if you feel like writing on your computer on your laptop or whatever is better than having a written journal with a pencil and paper then do it do what is most comfortable for you, what you feel, yeah, what you feel more comfortable doing is what is going to work best for you. Uh, this is it, this is the very first step towards lucid dreaming, being able to recall dreams at all. Uh, do you need to keep a dream journal for the rest of your life? <laughs> no, you don't need to. Once you get a good uh, dream memory, and you can recall on your own two, three dreams every night. You don't really need to keep a dream journal anymore, especially if you have more lucid dreams than normal dreams, because lucid dreams, as I mentioned, are awesome. And the first thing I said here is that uh, awesome dreams, together with nightmares, <laughs> are the more, the easiest ones to recall. So if you have lucid dreams uh, with a uh, uh, like daily, almost every night, uh, you're going to recall them most likely just fine once you have a good dream uh, memory in the first place. Everything okay? Remember that if you have any questions or if I talked too fast, too bad, I forgot stuff uh, mid-sentence, which is more m most likely, you can always ask, you can always write a comment maybe in this video and I will try my best to answer. I want to help you guys out. <laughs> That's what I'm, why I'm doing this in the first place. I really... I think life is beautiful, you know? <laughs> and uh, I want people to be happy. And as I mentioned in the last video, lucid dreams are the most amazing thing you're ever going to hear about and experiment yourself and learn about and stuff. I love the word stuff. It always saves me when I don't know what to say anymore. So I really, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
pet spider in this house and pet creeper. Guys, I don't think you're safe in there. Two spiders? Okay, I'm not getting any closer to that house. So I really want as many people as possible to know about lucid dreams and have a chance to experiment them because it's really the most amazing thing ever. I really hope you get to experience them. It's my wish for a better world. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't care about people starving. I, I care about people dreaming well. <laughs> ah, I suck. Hi guys. Well, it's night time, so I guess I even though there's a house of nightmares right there, I'm going to stay in this village for the night. This enderman? <laughs> this day has been very awesome we have gotten oh so many diamonds a shame we haven't found gold which is the whole reason why i'm still running here in this series but hey whatever we did not take damage and it's awesome um before something bad happens <laughs> i'm moving my bed a little bit so Minecraft did not decide to spawn me on this block here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode if you want to. Good night.